You see, the walls of Jericho didn't fall until there was a sound. There's a voice war over the city. I want you to be seated for just a moment. I want to unpack this just a little bit because I feel like it's very important to understand this moment in time. First of all, let me just say this. The Lord said, as I was praying this afternoon, he said, tell them corrupt media, deeply entrenched ideologies are being getting ready to be shaken up in the city. Abuses, manipulations, and half-truths are all getting ready to be exposed. I, I even feel like some people are going to go to jail. Lord said, child trafficking rings are being exposed in New York City. I feel like they've already been uncovered, but because it involves people of power, they're being silenced, and there's even attempts on that individual's life. I believe that person's a revolutionary that wants to see this evil darkness exposed in the city. So, Lord, we just decree right now, first of all, you're going to keep this person safe, God. You're going to put a trumpet to their mouth so that they can blow. God, that even right now, God, the corruption that's trying to cover this evil, we break it in pieces right now in the name of Jesus. We decree right now into New York, we decree right now, God, that that which has covered this sin, that which has covered this evil is being stripped away as the Lion of Judah begins to roar over the city of New York. The covering over this evil is being stripped away and the truth will be known. We decree it. It'll be plastered on the, the headlines of the papers. We decree it in Jesus' name. And all those that are in partnership. I saw, when I was praying, I saw warehouses filled with children. I feel like the first wave will release at least 300 children. Guys, if that doesn't break our heart, I don't know what does. 300 children being exploited. I also heard the Lord say there's a shakeup in New York City government turning a blind eye to these injustices. And they're injustices that don't fit their narrative. But their negligence is being exposed. Their hypocrisy is coming to light. And the media is not even going to cover for them anymore because what's exposed is so horrific. Even the media that walks in league with them in this voice war even the media is going to be sickened. Father, we decree right now, God, you're going to raise up reformers in the media right now, God, that are not afraid to speak truth. Reformers, oh God, that are not afraid to expose the evil. Reformers, oh God, that will be part of the uncovering. Even of those in political office, Lord, we decree it in Jesus' name. Now, I, let, me, let me unpack this one important part, and then I'll do a little bit more tomorrow. But I really felt like the Lord said that what the conflict is over the city of New York and really over the state is that New York was called by God. I love what I think it was Lewis prophesied, calling the city and the state back to its original foundations. Now, what we have to understand is that we need to understand what God's original purpose is for territories. Because then what we understand is that the enemy comes in and does the opposite of what God said. See, I think our territory was always supposed to be a prospered territory, but the enemy came in and made his own decree of ownership and dominion. But I want to remind you, the earth is the Lord's. New York City is, is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and all they that dwell therein. They don't belong to the government. They don't belong to the city. They belong to God. They don't belong to the devil. And so God's original intention for the city of New York was that it would be a land of kingdom reformation. That would shape a nation. Dreamers, reformers, innovators, apostles, prophets, government, anointing, hearing from God and establishing his government in the earth. This can actually really be seen that the first uh, United States Congress met there, the first Supreme Court in the nation met there. They were, they're, they're a nation, I mean, they're a, a region of firsts. But the enemy's decree, and I just heard this, and I actually talked to one of the intercessors, to Jody, and I said, I've, I've never actually, I've, I honestly have never really preached or studied this. But the Lord said that what this is, is that there's an empire spirit 
over the Empire State. And that it becomes a place of rebellion, unrighteous movements, and lawlessness. It's a stronghold for humanism and the Antichrist. So let me try to help you to understand this. So what we have is we have the kingdom of God and we have a demonic empire. And it becomes a shadow government that's been affecting our whole nation. Empire, let me help you to understand this. Of course, I know it's the empire state. Like I had a whole message today and as I was getting ready today, putting on mascara, the Lord said, you know, that's the empire spirit. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Should have called Jody, okay? So, an empire means a supreme power in government, supreme dominion, imposing philosophy, political systems, technology, trade, and military development in the territories that it rules. It exports ideas and governmental structures throughout the world. It begins to take territories. Let me give you a few examples of empires. The Assyrian Empire. Sennacherib, who laid siege to Jerusalem under Hezekiah. The Medo-Persian Empire. The Greek Empire. The Roman Empire. The British Empire. How many understand we broke free from a British Empire? But what the Lord showed me, see, this empire spirit wants to take dominion. And it is a different philosophy. It's a different mentality. And what the Lord showed me is in the Revolutionary War, New York Harbor was the last place that British ships left, the British government. They left, but they left something behind. They left the empire spirit. 